So it's quite simple, as you can see, today, to make indirect requests. We will focus on turning statements into indirect requests. Now, let's discuss what indirect requests are. So indirect requests means that you want to give a message to someone who is not present or not available. Let's say, for example, you call a person and the person is not there. Um, and you leave a message for that person. Well, this is what we call an indirect request. So let me present some structure. If you see the chart on the screen. Hello. Hello, Rafael. How are you? How are you? My name is Javier Gomez. Nice to meet you. My nice name is Rafael Dabu. Rafael, it's a pleasure, yes. Uh, Thank you. I'm gonna be your new teacher uh, for this week and for the next week. And for me, it's a pleasure to stay with you. And uh, we're going to continue with this level uh, until okay. April 27th. So it means right. next week, right? So we want to have classes from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, on Friday, too. Friday, too. See, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. We usually don't have classes on Friday, but this week, because, you know, uh, we have vacation and uh, we have uh, these uh, days that are not really regular, right? So that's the reason we're going to ha have classes until the, the April 27th. So okay. that's it. Okay. Um, and um, I repeat, my name is Javier Gomez. I'm married. I have three children and a pet name Polar. <laughs> <laughs> and I love to teach, you know, so uh, I love my job. So um, I have been a teacher for like 20 years So. So like 20 me. years. Yeah. Okay. How about you, Rafael? What do you do? Okay. Uh, I am a Mary. I have um, two two children, one boys and one girls. Okay. Um, my wife is a teacher too. Nice. The best profession in the world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> really? Yes. No pilot too, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I am a marketing. I work at Pollo Real. Oh, nice. My my hobby is um, take a, a photos. Oh, a photographer and, too. Yes, and and a pilot. I love pilot. Okay, nice. You love planes. 
I love planes. Yes. Yeah, nice. But the big ones or just small? No, ones? just air, 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 small planes. Small planes. Yes. Yes. Have you right. uh, uh, gone to San Miguel, for example, San Salvador to San Miguel, for example? I right, heard? right, right. Yes, I oh. I gone to Guatemala. Oh my goodness, that's very nice. Yes. And what other places have you uh, um, visited? Guatemala, um, San Miguel, um, Valle Jiquilisco. Nice. Yes. Good. That's it. So it's a pleasure. Now we have also Daniel Castro here. Uh, welcome, Daniel Castro. My name is Javier Gomez. I'm the new teacher. Hey, How are you? you? I'm going. I'm doing well. Um, nice to meet you. It's a my pleasure. Name, as you said, as you said, my name is Daniel Castro. Yes. Yeah. Good. Daniel, where do you live? Say again, please. Where do you live? I live in Chacacoyo. It's a uh, Small town, so uh, not La Libertad. La Libertad, no. oh, nice. It's La Libertad. It's, ah, it's very on good. the limit of La Libertad and Sonsonate. Now, ah, okay, good. So it's, uh, uh, for you, it's not a problem this last vacation to go to the beach, right? Because I imagine it's near from your house. Not really, because, not really? Oh. no. Um, it's on, on the, close to the road to Sonsonate. Okay. But, do you have you hear Ateos? Yeah, yeah, I know Ateos, yes. Ateos is a a, a part of Zacacoyo. Ah, oh, I yes. understand. So it's closer. I it's, understand, it's, yes. It's far away from, from beach and it's, it's far away. It's not okay, close I to, the, to the, to the ocean. Cool. Yeah. It's a pleasure. And I know so many places that are really strange. They have really strange names. Uh, have you heard this place name? Uh, Calzontes abajo. I've heard the name, but I have heard the name, but not really. I don't know where is that place. Believe but the some, name, yes, I have heard some that. Some people don't believe it. It's true. It's a real place in Santana. Calzontes abajo, calzontes arriba. It's, you know, it's funny, but yes, I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> yes, yes. Cacoyo is sounds like really, uh, you know, not common, right? But it's kind of I, strange. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's okay, kind of good. strange. It's a pleasure, Daniel. It's a pleasure. Okay, Irvin. Hello, Irvin. Welcome to this class, Irvin. Good evening, teacher. It's a Hi. pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to. Okay, uh, what do you do, Irvin? What's your occupation? Uh, I am a computer engineer. My God. So I, I into the technology. Nice. So when I have problem with my connection with my computer, I'm gonna ask you for, for help, right? <laughs> because I'm not very good with computers, you know. I'm not very good, so it's a pleasure. And welcome to my class. And then we have also Yolanda Cativo, right? Hi, Yolanda. Hi. All right. Welcome, Yolanda. Thank you. Uh, I remember your name, Yolanda. You were my student before, no? Do you remember me, teacher Javier Gomez? I don't remember your face, teacher, and your name. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, you're familiar for me, you know, but... Anyway, many names. I have I have had many students, but it's a pleasure to have you in my class. And where do you live, Yolanda? I live in Santa Tecla, teacher. Santa Tecla. Oh, yes, it's very small close. It's really here. I live in Mexicano, so we're kind of close, right? Okay. Very close, teacher. Yeah, that's it. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Welcome, Yolanda. And then we have Mauricio Morales. Hi, Mauricio. Welcome hello, hi, class. how are you? Well, hello. Hello. Uh, sorry, teacher Kalev is not going to be with you anymore. He's okay, don't worry. But uh -huh. uh, he has some, you know, business to do. But so I'm going to be your teacher for this week and the next week, right? Okay. Uh, we we want to finish on April 27th. April 27th, right? So this week and the next. We want to have classes for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay. Friday too. Friday too. Yes, this week when I have classes on Friday, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry, but you know, Friday is almost weekend, right? But you know, it's just one hour, right? Uh -huh. uh, imagine you have a fun with the class. 
it's part of your weekend, you know, Mauricio. <laughs> okay, it's a yeah. pleasure. Okay. What it's do you do, pleasure. Mauricio? What do, uh, what's your occupation? Uh, I work in insurance. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Uh -huh. That's nice. Insurance, yeah, it's a very busy activity. I know, I know. It's, uh -huh. Yes. And what, so what is your name, please? Uh, what Javier is your name? Gomez. My name is Javier Gomez. Oh, yes. yes, it's a pleasure. Okay. And um, yeah. there are some companies. Oh, I mean, what is the name of your company? Uh, Javier, this. No, I am an insurance broker. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. so it's kind of I'm personal. insurance broker yeah. and I work with all the companies. I know, I know. Uh -huh. I have a friend who worked that way. So it's it's really interesting. Okay, so yeah. welcome, welcome to the class. Sorry. Thank you uh, very much. This is the first class, so that's why I'm I'm uh, trying to to meet everybody here in the in the group, right? So I have Dagoberto Rodriguez. Hello, Dagoberto. Welcome. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Nice, nice to meet you. Me too. It's a pleasure. And, and Caleb, is he okay? He is okay. Yeah, I, I was telling the rest of the students that. He has to do some special business. I cannot tell you, but it's, okay. it's he's okay. I mean, and I, I hope like maybe to, he's going to be with you in the next level. Or I'm not sure, but for the moment, I'm gonna be your teacher, right? This and the next week, right? Okay. Okay. And okay. What about you? What 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 do you do, Dagoberto? Oh, I'm a math teacher in a rural school. Excuse me, sir. You sir, mathematics. <laughs> Yeah, it's it really hard, Lemmy. For me, it's really ah, hard. Congratulations. I, uh, I admire mathematic teachers, you know. It's uh, more difficult English know, language. Yes, of course. Mathematics is really difficult, right? So it's a pleasure and welcome to my class. Well, everybody, so uh, I repeat my name, Javier Gomez. I'm going to be your teacher for these two weeks. And I'm very happy. I'm really excited to, to have this class with you. I mean, advanced students are students that understand everything you know <laughs> so and we don't have a class just full english right and don't worry to ask me anything you want vocabulary grammar whatever you need so i'm gonna be here for you also i need uh, we're gonna be in touch in the whatsapp group right so when you complete the platform uh, we are going to we're going to, uh, I'm going to be there in the WhatsApp group, right? Helping you. Because sometimes uh, there are some difficulties in the platform. Sometimes yeah. a coma, sometimes a, a period, sometimes, a, you know, so I'm going to be there, right? And then you tell me, teacher, I work with this and I, I don't find a solution. So I'm going to help you, there, right? So I'm free in the afternoons. Right now I'm not working in the afternoon. So I have the, all, my all afternoon is free. So I can help you, right? And remember, we have to complete all the exercise. Sorry, Dagoberto, do you have a question? Tell me. Sorry, no question. No question. Okay, Daniel, any question? No, oh, yes, no, yes. No. I read. I read your message. Don't worry. Uh, don't Thank worry. You. I read it. Yeah. Thank you. I understand. Don't worry. I understand. Okay. Good. So uh, I repeat. I'm gonna be here to help you in the WhatsApp group here in class. Right. So uh, don't look at me as like a teacher, but no, well, as a teacher, but as, as your friend too, right? Because uh, I like to be very dynamic. I like to be interactive with my students, right? So we wanna have a lot of fun, right? Okay, good. So let's start with the class. Uh, last class you were learning uh, how to ask favors to people, right? And we wanna start with this next uh, favors. I'm gonna tell you some favors. And I want to make some questions about those favors. Let me see. The first is, the first favor is, could you let me use your car? Let me see. Rafael, uh, would you bother if someone asked you this? I repeat. Yes. Uh -huh. Could you let me use your car, Rafael? Please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have only one car and oh. I need it to, to work. Okay, I understand. So for you, uh, it's kind of bother you, right? Yet yeah, someone asked yeah. you for your car, right? Okay, what yes. about this? Let me see. Irvin, would you, I mean, could you drive me to the airport, Irvin? 
I want to go to Comalapa. So please, could you drive me to the airport, Irving? Uh, well, I don't have a car, but I can tell my brother he is a driver. Oh, good. But Irving, do you like or do you dislike when people ask you this kind of favors? Like uh, or dislike? It, Sorry? It depends. If, if I have the possibility to help them, uh, oh. I like it. If I don't have the possibility, I will say no. Okay, I understand. Very good. Next, Mauricio, please. Uh, could you lend me some money, Mauricio? Uh, I don't have it right now. <laughs> okay. No, but, I couldn't. I it's that's favor is a little difficult. I don't have money right do now. Do you like this favor? I am broke. Kind of favor? I am broke. Cling or I have to do I have like to ask I have to ask my wife. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Nice. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sophia, please, Sophia. Listen. Hello. Could you lend me your hairbrush? My hairbrush. Yes. Yes, I don't mind. Okay. Do you <laughs> like or do you dislike this kind of favors? Uh, I like. Okay, good. For me, no problem. Look, I, I don't very, have problem. <laughs> I am very colocho, so <laughs> it's not too <trouble. laughs> Okay, good. Thank you very much, Sofia. Thank you, teacher. Daniel, could you help me move into my new house? Daniel? Yes, yes. If you are my, my friend, yes, I can help okay. you. I like it. But in this moment, I am not your friend. <laughs> I, I am, don't like I am it. your neighbor. <laughs> Right now, no, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, good. So it means that eh, you did you dislike that kind of thing, right? Okay, right. very good. Next one, Yolanda, please. Could you let me borrow your homework? I am a student, right? Of course, teacher. Oh, my homework is yours. <laughs> oh, you are the kind of but student you like to cheat in the in the class, right? <laughs> Now I have minute. a question, teacher. <laughs> okay, good. I have a question. Tell me, tell me, tell me. In the case of Sophia, if uh, she doesn't, uh, I don't know, borrow her uh, hairbrush? Her hairbrush, huh? Hairbrush. Uh -huh, it's borrowed, no? No, borrow. yes, but uh, in, the, in, in the case that she doesn't like to, is borrow or lend? No, you lend, to? lend. Lend you yeah. the ah, okay. When when you borrow, okay. you ask a favor. Uh -huh. but you, are you, the, you told the, us uh, you are the you teacher. lend me your uh -huh, hair okay. brush, you. <laughs> teacher. But in this case, you told us, could you lend me your hair brush? Uh huh. Is is correct? Lend me. Yes. Or could I me. could I borrow your? Okay. Understand? And okay. could you lend me? Understand? So when I ask for the favor, when I am the piriche, right, I say, can I borrow? And when the other person give you something, the person lend you. Okay, this is my pen, right? So Yolanda, you want to use my pen. So you want to say, teacher, can I borrow your pen? And I will say, yes, Yolanda, I can lend you my pen. I lend you my pen because it's my pen, you know? Understand? Yes, yes, I understand. But okay. in the Tell case me. of of this example, you told us, uh, you told a hair. Mm -hmm. Could you lend me your hairbrush? Uh huh. Yes, because okay. I. It's the same. Yeah, it's the same. Uh, only thing in this, who is making the action? Who is making the action? In this case, for example, uh, Sophia is is making the action. So when I say Sophia, you make the actions. Say. Could you, you lend me, you lend me, okay? And the other way to, to ask is, can I borrow your, okay, yes, understand. Brush, understand? So when I say I, I say I borrow. And when I say you, you lend me your, your hairbrush, right? Okay, good. It's a good question, yeah? It's a very, a lot of students make, um, you know, questions about this. Okay, now to finish, Dagoberto, please. Could you let me stay at your house for a while? Let's say one week. 
Ajá, la Roberto. What is the mean uh, while? I will repeat the question. Uh, no, what is the mean while? I don't remember. Ah, while is, is, is a short time. Not my life. Yes, one week. Uh, <laughs> a while is just a moment. Understand? Okay, okay please. Okay, I, will, I will repeat the question. Could you let me stay at your place, at your house for a while? Well, yes. Uh, yes. If you need it, you can. Can I live in your it. house? <laughs> For one no, week at no. least. Uh, okay, I, I, I need to como digo, pedir permiso. ask for permission. Ask to okay, okay. ask for permission. Good. To my good. wife if he, he want to. Okay, good. Remember those those favors are not true. I mean it's it's just to uh, give you example how to use this, right? Okay, good. Now let's go to the class. Uh, I'm gonna share my 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 screen Do you. Okay, and then um, last class, you were learning about this, right? Let me see, uh, give me a second. It's just this, yes, this one, right? Request with models, it closes and general, right? This is the last class. So we're gonna make a little review. Um, let me see. Okay, now, Rafael, can you read the first two questions, please, for the class? Rafael? Okay, so Irving. <clears throat> read can the I first borrow two. your pencil? Can I borrow your pencil? Could you let me a jacket? Good, that's it, right? Look. This is another example, Yolanda, uh, you know? Okay, good. Now, Mauricio, the next two questions, please. Is it, is it okay if I use your phone? Do you mind if I use your city burn, burner? burner? That's it, thank you. Sophia, the next two what ones. What is that burner? What is Bur burner? Burner is to put fire on something. So when you put your CD, uh, and you copy your CD, you make a copy of your CD, right? Yeah. Uh, 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 born. Uh -huh. Some tracks, some tracks okay. in the in the new CD. Yeah. And so yeah. literally the laser burns the, 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 the CD, you know? Make a CD copy. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. When, when you make a copy of the CD, uh, the machine burns, you know, burn the, the new CD copying the, the tracks of the original CD. Mm -hmm. Understand? That's why they say burner, like in okay. a stove, when you're cooking, you know? You're cooking. Yeah. So those are burners. Uh, okay. the, the stove have regularly four burners, right? So the same word is used when you copy a CD. Okay? Okay. Good, good. good. That's it, right? Next two questions. Um, who? Sophia, please. Will it be okay if I pick, pick it up, up, pick it up on Friday night? Okay. Yeah. Let, let me see. I will. I will play this. Okay. Good. That's it. Right. Now, uh, next one, please, uh, Daniel. Would you like to read the next two ones? Sure. Would you mind if I borrowed your digital camera? Continue. Continue. Uh, would you mind letting me use your laptop? Good. And to finish, please, uh, Yolanda, tell me, please, with the last two ones. I wonder if I could borrow some money. I was wondering if you'd mind lending me your car. Good. Here, just to make a review, very fast, right? Models are like auxiliaries, right? Models, for example, can, could, will, going to, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, help you to get uh, to one specific idea, right? In this case, can you're asking for the possibility that some, somebody give you a pencil, right? Also the past tense of can that is could is another uh, model or auxiliary that help you to ask for favor, right? Then we have it closes. If in Spanish the word is see, right? So in this case, you can use if closest to us for favors. You know, is it okay if I use your phone? Okay. 
And the expression, do you mind or would you mind, right? It's also uh, included in this if closer, right? And the expression, would you mind, is followed by a gerund, right? Okay? Remember, gerunds are ing words that are verbs, right? Uh, that are followed by ing, letting, going, uh, working, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? And uh, after the expression, would you mind, you always use a, a gerund, right? A word with ing. Okay, good. This is a review. I don't know if you have any extra questions for this part. No questions? Good. Remember that you have to complete the platform. You have to complete the platform. And if you have questions, I can help you doing that, right? If you have questions. Here, for example, uh, I'm gonna go to the test, right? 3.4, can you see here? And I imagine that you have completed this part, right? In the platform. So, uh, listen to the instructions. It says complete the following request with models, if closes and general, right? Here we have the examples, right? You want to borrow your coworkers underwater camera. I was wondering if you might lending me your underwater cameras, right? So as I say, we use an a general ing word after mine, right? Okay, and then. Here, I'm gonna write the answer, right? Notice that after okay, you are going to use a lowercase letter. Is it okay if I use your, I will change, I will use your pencil, right? It's, it's not pencil, but okay. Be careful because sometimes you have a period at the end and sometimes not. And also you have to use a lowercase letter at the beginning, no a capital letter. Look, this is incorrect, lowercase, because you're following a sentence here, right? Okay? So then after you, you do this, you submit, right? But I repeat, if you have questions, I wanna be with you in the WhatsApp group, right? Okay, good. Then, uh, Last time you were, in the last class, we were listening to this video, right? And you were asking this question, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play it again, right? The audio. Hi everyone. At the end of this Pay class, attention, please. In listening for specific information. Sorry to interrupt you, but here in this video, you have some speeds. For example, normal speed is 1.0, right? But if you want to listen slower, you reduce the speed, look, 0 0.75, okay? Or slower to 0 0.550, it says, right? Listen to the difference. After listening to the audio. Low, low, low. It's low, right? Okay, this is faster. So let's get started. You'll listen to and this is the normal speed, right? Task is to write down this is a trick you can practice. Okay, listen. Identify whether the person mm -hmm. agrees or disagrees to the request. If the person say yes or if the person say no, right? Hello? Hi, Robert. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. What's up? Well, actually, would you mind lending me your camera for a few days? Would you uh, mind lending me, right? You are going to lend me, you're going to give me your camera, your, <clears throat> I mean, your, your object, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so this person going to buy, uh, to borrow um, a bread maker, a camera or a bird, right? So you're just going to check one of these, right? Here, here, or here, right? To, to make the answer. Let's continue, listen, right? I want to take some photos of my new apartment to send to my folks. No problem. You can borrow it. Oh, thanks a million. Okay, next one. Hi. Hello? 
Hi, Maggie. This is Kyle. Oh, hi. How are things with you? Pretty good. Listen, I was wondering if I could borrow your bread maker. My bread maker? Don't tell me you are going to bake. I know. I'm planning to cook dinner for my girlfriend this weekend, and I want to bake bread. And I want it to be perfect. I remember you baked some amazing bread with that thing. So what do you say? Can I borrow it? I'll be careful. Well, I have bad news. It's broken. I've been meaning to get it fixed, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, too bad. But you know, you can always just bake bread on your own. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go to a bakery. Third question, Greg. Calling. Hi, Lin. It's Phil. Hi, Phil. What's up? Not much, but I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. Maybe. Try me. Well, I have to go out of town for a few days next week. Uh huh. Could I leave Polly with you while I'm gone? Polly? Who's Polly? You know, Polly. My bird? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Your bird. I don't know, Phil. I really don't like birds very much. They're messy and they make a lot of noise. And... No, not Polly. She's really a great bird. She's really clean and very quiet. She won't bother you, I promise. Oh, all right, I'll do it. Thanks, I really appreciate it. I'll bring her over on Tuesday night. Okay, but you owe me one. Okay, again, so you're going to answer one of these three options, right? Simple, check this, this, or this, right? Uh, do you understand the, the audio? Yes. Yes, okay, good. Yes, teacher. No yes. problem for you. I can explain the context if you want. No, okay. No problem. Okay. Very good, very good. So let's continue, right? So now, uh, as I tell you, as I told you before, sorry, uh, you have to complete the platform, right? Uh, oh, sorry, Carlos Dominguez, welcome to the class, Carlos. Okay, I'm writing teacher. your name here. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Thank you. how are you? <laughs> okay, let's continue with the class. So um, uh, you can see here, right, that this is 3.0, 3.1, 3.2, 3 3.3, and here with the pencil, here you have to complete, right? Look, I was trying, you know, and I was wrong. <laughs> okay, this, also, this one, right, the favors. And the last one is going to be this, 3.12, right? Okay, good. So we're going to start with this. Lesson uh, objective, right, 3.7. By the end of this class, you will learn indirect requests. That's the topic for today's class, right? Okay, and uh, for tomorrow, we're going, um, uh, we're going to finish with this part and uh, you're going to make the midterm test. The midterm test, right? That, that means that we're gonna make a test. Uh, I'm gonna explain step-by-step step how to make it. And if you have questions, you wanna make questions for tomorrow. But because today we made the introduction, I made a review. So uh, we want to have like 30 minutes for this uh, video, right? And remember grammar is oof, like mathematics, right? <laughs> kind of difficult, right? So uh, we're going to go step by step, right? Uh, let's start with a question, right? First, let me see. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna ask some of you, right? Uh, Sophia, for you, what, what is a request? What do you understand for the word request, Sophia? Request. Uh huh. What is that? Uh, when you study and uh, one more time, sometimes or something that you don't understand very okay. well. Okay. And you need help, right? You request. And you need and help, you need right? Help. Okay. Very good. Rafael, what about you? What do you understand for for a request? What is a request? Rafael? It's uh, when, uh, when I need to ask you 
something. Okay, when you need to ask me something, when you want uh, the solution uh, for something, right? Okay, right. that's it, thank you very much. So in other words, a request is when you need help, when you need a favor, when you're going to, uh, you need a, uh, the solution for something, the, the answer for a question, right? That is, a, in other words, a request. So today we're going to learn how to make those requests, right? Now, let, I wanna share again the, the screen with you, right? Okay, let me see. Good. So we're going to watch a video. Again, I ask you if you want to listen, right? If you have problem with listening, right? You can reduce the speed of your video in here, right? Okay, and you can watch and watch again the video. I recommend to see the video like about three times, four times if it is possible, right? Okay, then we're going to listen uh, the video, like the explanation, and then later we're going to discuss together, right? Hi, everyone. With the end of this class, you'll learn how to make indirect requests. We will focus on turning statements into indirect requests. Now, let's discuss what indirect requests are. So, indirect requests means that you want to give a message to someone who is not present or not available. Let's say, for example, you call a person and the person is not there, um, and you leave a message for that person. Well, this is what we call an indirect request. So let me present some structure. If you see the chart on the screen, we can see how this structure changes depending on the type of sentence. So if we have statements, imperatives, yes and no questions, and WH questions, those will be different whenever we change them to indirect requests. Uh, now I'll be discussing this individually. Uh, and then um, we're gonna try to make sense of all of them together. The idea is to be able to make, uh, to, to take any kind of um, sentence and then change that to a form of indirect request. So in this particular lesson, we're gonna focus with the first one, with statements. So as we can see, um, statements are quite easy to change, right? We have a statement there, Jeff, Tony's having a party. So that statement, we change it to an in, indirect request. You call um, maybe uh, maybe Jeff, uh, Jeff's uh, assistant, uh, and uh, you want to give a message to him because he was not available. And then you, you, um, you tell um, the assistant, uh, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? So it's quite easy, right? We just kind of like introduce, could you tell? And here we're going to introduce uh, the person who uh, that message is for. So remember that what you're doing is you're leaving a message with Jeff's assistant. Uh, and then Jeff's assistant will, do, will then give that message to him. So it's quite simple, right? So what we want to do is uh, we want to um, uh, leave um, quite a few messages for Jeff. Uh, and then we want to practice changing those statements into indirect requests. In this case, we're going to practice uh, changing those uh, statements to indirect requests introduced by uh, that. So the first one that we can see there is, okay, Jeff, uh, Tony's having a party. That's the message. Uh, so how would I give the message to the receptionist or to his assistant? Um, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? By the way, the reason you see that in parentheses is because that is optional. That means that you can either say, could you tell Jeff Tony is having a party? Or you could just include it. You could say, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? So let's write a couple of other um, uh, statements, if you will. All right. And these are messages that I want to give uh, to uh, Jeff's uh, receptionist, right? I'll change the size a little bit so that you can see that pretty clear. So how do we change this next statement? Jeff, Tony is going to invite everyone from work. All right, so once again, we want to deliver the message. We want to leave the message with the receptionist. So um, could you tell Jeff that Tony is gonna invite everyone from work. So basically the only thing that we did um, is, you see, this is the message. And 
what we did is we just pretty much sort of like have the same thing. We only added, and I'm going to highlight that in red. We only added, could you tell Jeff that, because that the message is for Jeff once again. Tony is going to invite everyone for work. I'll highlight that in yellow. Space. So this was the only thing that we had. And we're going to do the same thing for other kinds of statements. Uh, and so let's play around with other kinds of statements real quick. Um, let's see, something related to the party, right? And we want to give the message to Jeff. All right. Um, Okay, um, so let me change the size a little bit. So Jeff, Tony is going to have a lot of food and drinks at the party. So how can we change this to an indirect request or an indirect message? Well, first of all, I mentioned that um, at this point, because everything is directed towards uh, Jeff, I want to say, could you tell Jeff that? And we're simply going to copy this. You can see. And by the way, uh, something that I forgot to do was I just forgot to add this question mark here. Okay, there we go. So it's quite simple as you can see, right? Uh, let's do one more. Um, what's the message? Well, I want to also give another message to Jeff and this message is going to be all right um, Tony is going to have a DJ who is going to play all kinds of music right so once again what is it that we want to do well uh, quite simple we're going to just borrow this could you tell Jeff that right. and we're simply going to just uh, the, the message we don't change much on the message at this point right it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, so could you tell Jeff that Tony is going to have a DJ who is going to play all kinds of music, right? That's okay, guys. This is the, the topic, right? And these are the examples. Now let's go back to the first part. We're going to work with this. Statements. And it says in the red request, introduce it by that. This part is the first. Okay. Uh, I repeat, grammar sometimes is very difficult, but we have we want to try, right? To understand very well. Let's let's start first with saying what is a statement. Well, it, basically we have four four kind of sentences, right? The first one is statements. Then we have questions, exclamations, and imperatives. These are the four kinds of sentences that we have, right? A statement is when the sentence is affirmative or negative. A statement is when the sentence is affirmative or negative, right? In this case, we have Tony having a party. Good. It's affirmative, right? And we're using what? Are we using simple past, simple present, present continuous, past continuous? Uh, Carlos, please. Uh, can you tell me what kind of structure are we using in Tony is having a party? Carlos? Um, what do you think? I will give you three options. Simple present, simple past, or present continuous. Um, present continuous? Present continuous, correct, right? And as you can see, it's affirmative, or it could, could be negative. But if it is a question, no. Is not included. Only statement that are affirmative or negative, right? Now, okay. we can use expression like could you, could you, right? Listen to the, the, the pronunciation. Could you, could you, or you're going to could you, could you, could you tell Jeff, could you tell Rafael, could you tell Irving, could you tell uh, Yolanda, right? Could be any person, right? That Tony having a party, right? Okay. And you can see in the example, right? You're going to use that like an option. So I can say, could you tell uh, Yolanda um, uh, Mauricio is having a party, right? Or could you tell Yol uh, could you tell Dagoberto that Rafael is having a party? 
right? Sorry, that word is not true. It's just an imagination, right? Uh, Rafael is not having a party. <laughs> why, okay. Rafael? Oh, okay, sorry, but <laughs> no party. So in this case, that is an option, right? Okay, and uh, I repeat, it's taken from a statement, right? And notice that the sentence is exactly the same, right? Okay, and when you make requests, you are telling another person to do something, right? And here in this case, imagine uh, Javier is asking uh, Yolanda to tell Carlos about something, you know? So in this case, we have three people, three persons, right? The person that uh, give the message, the other person that received the message and that is going to transmit to a third person that is going to receive in the last information, right? Okay? So you're transmitting a message in this order, right? Okay. So we wanna see some examples if you want, right? Um, let's say, for example, Dagoberto is eating pupusa, right? Dagoberto is eating pupusa. So I will give the example, right? And you're gonna help, right? Uh, Irving, help me, Irving. Okay, Irving. Uh, Dagoberto is eating pupusas. What could be the, the indirect request in this case, Irving? Uh, let's see. Remember, you're going to start all the time with could you tell? Could you tell, right? Okay. Uh, could you tell Dagoberto? Mm -hmm. That is hmm. eating pupusas. Okay, no. wait, wait. Let us review, right? If you, but you have to we, use two. two we're names, going to change the name. Right? Wait, give me a second, Evie. Give me a second. We're going to change the name. Right. If you want, okay. Again, we're going to use Dagoberto and Sofia, right, Evie? Okay. All right. So, uh, in this case. We say, for example, uh, give me a second. I'm gonna change the names again because I'm, 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 I'm having problems with this. Daniel and Yolanda. <laughs> okay, again. So, Daniel, Yolanda is having is eating pupusas. Daniel, oh, Yolanda is eating pupusas. Okay, now make the request, Irving. Could you tell Daniel that Jolanda is eating pupusas? My goodness. Congratulations, Irving. That is correct, right? Okay. And remember, you can use the option that, or you cannot use the, the option that, right? It's if you want to use it. It's not necessary, right? Let's give another example, right? Um, let me see. Uh, who's going to help me? Dagoberto, you help me, please. Uh, we're going to use uh, Carlos and Sofia. Yes, Carlos and Sofia. Okay, Carlos. Sofia is visiting Apulo. Okay, Dagoberto. Make the indirect request, please. Uh, could you tell Carlos uh -huh. uh, Sofia is visiting Apulo? Okay. Oh, that Sofia is oh, visiting Apulo. Apulo. Okay, very good. That is for you too, right? Congratulations, Dagoberto. That's nice, right? Thanks, thanks. Good. Class, do you have any question about this? This is the first. No. Okay, listen. This is the first, right? How to make in the requ request with statements. Remember, I say there are four kinds of sentences. Statements, questions, imperatives, and exclamation, right? In this case, statements are affirmative or negative. And we can make requests using could you, okay? Could you tell, 
Okay, good. Now let's go with the next one, right? Let's go to the next video. Give me a second here. I want to share with you. Okay. Here. Good. The next video, right? Remember that if we don't have enough time today, we're going to continue tomorrow with this part, right? Okay. The second one is infinity, right? It says, in direct request using infinities. Listen, please, and watch. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to make indirect requests. In this class, we will focus on turning imperatives into indirect requests. We use indirect requests when you want to give a method. Sorry, but the topic says infinity, but no, it's not infinity, it's imperative, right? Okay. Someone who is not present or not available. Let's say, for example, you call a person and the person is not there, uh, but uh, maybe the assistant or a receptionist answers the phone. So you leave a message with that person. This is what we call an indirect request. So let me present the structure. If you see the chart on the screen, we can see how the structure changes depending on the type of sentence. So, for example, if we have statements, which is what we saw in our previous class, uh, then these statements will change in this form, right? Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party or could you tell Jeff Tony is having a party? Um, so we did a lot of practice with this in our previous lesson. Today, we're going to focus or we're going to uh, pay close attention to imperatives. Uh, so we're going to have a series of imperatives and we will be changing those to uh, indirect requests using um, infinitives. If you can see on the screen, we're going to uh, take this imperative. And um, so the imperative is, Jeff, don't be late. Now this, we're going to turn it into an indirect request by using infinitives. And so the way that we will do this is that we will use can you tell plus the object and then we'll use an infinitive. This infinity could be in a negative form or it could also be in a positive form. Uh, so let me just quickly point out the structure that we're gonna be using. Um, all right, uh, so I mentioned uh, we're gonna use could. Um, this can also be can, by the way. And uh, then we're gonna use um, a subject there. It could be you, but uh, it could be any other subject as well, right? And then uh, typically we're, we will use the verb tell and then I mentioned this is going to be followed by the object. The object is who are we giving that message to? So, for example, in this case, it happens to be Jeff. Um, and after that, we will use um, an infinitive, as I mentioned. And this could be in the form of a negative infinitive. Uh, so, in this case, uh, let's just take that example there. Um, can you? Okay, now we'll tell. The object is Jeff. All right. And in this case, uh, this happens to be a negative one. So we will say not to be late. And then we'll put a question mark. And that's how we would change um, an imperative into an indirect request. So now let's say that the imperative is different. Okay, now we're gonna, I'm gonna give an example of a positive one. So what would be that? Well, maybe we want to give a message to Jeff. Jeff was not there, so but we talked to the, uh, to his assistant. So uh, bring some uh, drinks for the party, all right? That's the message that we want to give to Jeff. This is in the form of an imperative. So how do we go about changing this into uh, an indirect request? Well, again, we mentioned we will use could, and then we'll use you. Uh, in this case, we will use the verb tell. The object I mentioned is Jeff, all right? So we'll say, could you tell Jeff? And if you notice, this is not in a negative form. So therefore, we will not use not, okay? And we will simply use the infinitive form. Could you tell, could you tell Jeff to bring some drinks for the party? There you go. Um, and this is what I refer to, or this is what we refer to whenever we say that that's an infinitive, right? So um, it, to bring um, or not to 
uh, and then the verb. Right? So if we have a negative form, we will use not to and then the verb. If we have a positive form, we will say to and then plus the verb. That's what we mean by that. So could you tell Jeff to bring some drinks for the party? And that's how we turn that imperative into an indirect request. So let's practice making a series of imperatives and we're gonna do the exercise of changing those into indirect requests. So all the messages are directed towards Jeff. So Jeff, be on time. Okay, uh, maybe uh, Jeff, tell your friends that they are invited to the party. Jeff, bring your iPod. So there we go. We got a series of statements there on the bottom. What we want to do with that is we want to change those into an indirect request. So as I'm doing it, uh, you should also be uh, doing it yourself as well to make sure that you are understanding this topic. So let's do the first one together. So Jeff, be on time. Um, again, we will say, could you tell Jeff and that is not negative so therefore we will say we will change be on time to to be on time okay Jeff tell your friends that they are invited to the party all right we will do something similar we will say could you tell Jeff to tell his friends that they are invited to the party. There we go. Uh, and again, what we did was we uh, simply had to change this into a form of infinitive. Uh, and we did that by doing this. Right? There we go. And the last one should be quite easy. Jeff, bring your iPod, okay? You tell Jeff to bring his iPod. The only thing that was different was that we had to change the possessive pronouns. Okay. Uh, so, for example, um, could you tell Jeff to tell his friends that they are invited to the party? So, um, instead of saying, Jeff, tell your friends that they're invited to the party. We said, could you tell Jeff to tell his friends that they are invited to the party? Yeah, so we had to change that. And that was about the only thing that we had to change. Okay, that's it, right? Good. Now we're going to make a, a small review of this. I'm gonna give you one example and we finish this. We're going to continue with the videos small, right? Not. Give me a second here and here. Yes, here. Okay. Imperatives is like when you give orders or instruction, right? Remember, there are no subject in the imperatives. And there are two kinds of imperatives, affirmative and negative. When you say, for example, uh, Yolanda, open the window, right? But in this case, open the window, okay? Or well, I say, Daniel, uh, copy the class, right? So in this case, you're asking the person to, be, to do something or in negative, right? Do not do something, right? You say, for example, Rafael, don't eat in class, for example, right? Uh, Dagoberto, don't watch TV, for example, right? So those are the imperatives. And when you want to change the imperative, you're, listen, you're going to change imperative into infinitive. Infinitive are the preposition to here, right? Look, plus the base form of the verb. So when I say, for example, uh, open the book, you're going to change into to open the book. When I say close the window, you're going to change into to close the window. Only add the preposition to, right? And we have two examples in affirmative. For example, I can say, uh, Rafael, uh, complete the exercise. And then you make the indirect, 
request. Could you tell Rafael to complete the exercise? Or in negative, right? Let's say to uh, Carlo, right? Uh, don't forget your money, okay? Can you tell, or could you tell, the two can be used, right? Could you tell uh, Carlos not to forget his money? Okay, so in this context, right, we have two things, affirmative imperative and negative imperatives. In both ways, you change into an infinitive form, right? Using the preposition to, if it is affirmative, and using not to when it's negative, right? Whew. Okay, very good. Do you have any question about these guys? I have a question, teacher. Tell me, tell me, Roberto. Uh, in the first uh, statement, we use uh, can, and the next we are use cool. What is the difference? No problem. In this context, you can use or can or could. It's the same, the word. No change in meaning, no change in, in use. When they speak, they use can or could in the same way. Don't worry. It's okay. the same. Okay. okay. Thank you, Dagoberto. Any question? Okay, good. So, review, right? Yeah, but in the platform, if I don't write could. Ah, yes, yes. I know. I know what you mean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course. You have to be exactly, right? You have to use periods, commas. Ugh, it's very difficult, I know. But if, if you see it's wrong, change can into could. No problem. But I repeat, in the real life, both are correct. Okay? Good. Okay, thanks. Now, okay. Uh, so far we have statements and imperative, right? Notice that we say tell, tell, right? For the class tomorrow, we're going to learn how to make questions, right? Yes, no question and WH question. And before we finish, I want to tell you that here at the end of the video, you can make questions to me, to the teacher. Teacher, uh, what this? When you have questions, you can write here, look. Or if you want to make a commentary, give me examples, your personal examples, no problem, you can do that. Uh, I'm going to show you today, for example, uh, I was answering a question. Let me see to someone in the class. Someone make this question uh, here. Uh, in this video, right? I don't know who made this question. It's a student from this group. And look at this. I'm going to make it bigger. Here, right? Uh, do you remember this video? You saw the video with teacher Caleb, right? So in the yes. video, there is the word out. Could you help me out? So uh, the question is why? And I answer today and I say that when you make this, right? When you make this, look at the answer. Uh, it's a part of a, a phrase of verb, right? And phrase of verb have particles, like for example, turn up, turn down, okay, turn off, turn on, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Th those words are what we call particles, right? Particles. So uh, in this case, help me out. The word out doesn't mean anything, it's only a part of the phrase of verb. They are connected, right? And means that when, when you ask someone, would you like to help me out? It means that you're going to imagine you're uh, doing the, the laundry, for example, right? So could you uh, help me out with the laundry? So you're gonna have the person to do the laundry, right? Okay, or you, uh, could you help me out buying las tortillas? <laughs> so you wanna buy las tortillas for, for that person, right? So you're going to help. So I answer this question for a person, I don't know who is, right? But you can make questions here in the platform. You can make questions to me if you don't have, if you don't understand something, right? For example, after this video, notice that at the end, you can make here some question, right? So we are going to have two forms that you uh, make questions to me. 
in the platform and also in the WhatsApp group, right? Okay. I don't know if you have any extra question because it's time to finish the class. Okay, teacher. Okay. Sorry, the class was difficult because you know this is grammar, but uh, sometimes it's, it's like this, right? So the class is going yeah. to be just grammar. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, mm -hmm. good. So thank you very much. Uh, and someone is going to tell you something. His name is Dino, right? Hi, everyone. <laughs> and don't forget to make your homework in the platform, okay? Okay, teach. Okay, 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 okay. Bye. Have a good night. Okay. Good, good night. night. Thank good you. Night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. It was Dino. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> okay. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Eight o'clock. Good, good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye.